Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting challenging question from radical equations. 6x plus 7 equal to square root 6 over x plus 1 times 3x plus 4. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be equal to 0. So I will write straight away the rejection list x cannot be equal to minus 1, x cannot be equal to minus 4 by 3. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So let's consider squaring. I will write power 2, I will write power 2. Now here is square root and power 2 will be over. Left hand side I will write 6x plus 7 whole square. And right hand side would be 6 over x plus 1 times 3x plus 4. Now x cannot be equal to minus 1 and minus 4 by 3. So I can cross multiply. So I can write 6x plus 7 whole square times x plus 1 times 3x plus 4 equal to 6. Now I will use substitution. If I will consider 6x plus 7 equal to y. Let us consider. Let 6x plus 7 equal to y. So here I will be writing y square. What I should write here and here. So let's find out in terms of y. 6x plus 7 is y. So I will write 6x will be equal to y minus 7. 3x, half of that will be equal to y minus 7 over 2. So plus 4, plus 4 both sides. So this value will be y minus 7 over 2 plus 4, which is equal to y plus 1 over 2. So here I will be writing y plus 1 over 2. Now come to x plus 1. So 6x equal to y minus 7. Let me write here. 6x equal to y minus 7. So x will be equal to y minus 7 over 6. Plus 1 both sides. So I will write x plus 1 equal to y minus 7 over 6 plus 1. So after taking LCM, I will write it is y minus 1 over 6. Let's write here y minus 1 over 6. Right hand side is 6. So left hand side is y square y minus 1 y plus 1 divided by 12 equal to 6. Let's write here. equal to 6. Now cross multiply and we know the identity a minus b times a plus b. Any time we can write difference of two squares. So here I will be writing the formula. So I can write now y square times y square minus 1 equal to 12 6 R 72. Now, if you want, then we can consider substitution y square is equal to a or otherwise we can simply write quadratic equation which will be quadratic in y square. So, y power 4 minus y square minus 72 equal to 0. This is quadratic in y, quadratic in y square, quadratic in y. So I can directly write quadratic formula and I will write y square because this is quadratic in y square. So y square will be equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 minus 4ac. So 4 times 1 times 72 divided by 2a so 2. Now I can write 1 plus minus square root. This is 1 plus 
88 over 2 which further we can write 1 plus minus square root 289 divided by 2. Now we know that square root 289 is 17. So I will write 1 plus minus 17 over 2. With plus sign it is 18 by 2. With minus sign in between it would be minus 16 over 2. So the ultimate value of y square will be 9 and minus 8. Now if you will see y square is negative that means complex solution will come. A square cannot be negative for real valued solutions. So we will reject this solution as y will be always positive. This was our y. This should be always positive. So I will consider y square is equal to 9. I will write y square is equal to 9. Conclusion is y equal to plus and minus 3. If you will see this value will be positive. So let us consider the value of y first. So I will write plus and minus 3. y was 6x plus 7. This was y and this value is coming out plus and minus 3. So better is to write 6x plus 7 equal to 3 plus minus 3. Now take away 7 from both sides. 6x is equal to minus 7 plus minus 3. With plus sign I will be having minus 4. With minus sign I will be having minus 10. Divide both sides with 6. I will be getting minus 4 over 6 minus 10 over 6. Ultimate values of x will be minus 2 over 3 and minus 5 over 3. Now the point of domain. Let me write here. See right hand side we have got square root or radical term. So this radicand should be positive. Condition number 1. Left hand side it should be always positive as we will get square root positive. So let me write both the condition. So if I will consider 6x plus 7 greater than 0, then x will be greater than minus 7 over 6. Done. Second condition. This radicant is positive. So I will be writing root should be less than the smaller root. So I will write x should be less than minus 4 by 3 and x should be greater than the bigger root minus 1. So if you will take intersection of the three conditions then we can conclude x should be greater than negative 1. So we will accept only that solution which is greater than minus 1. So which one is greater than minus 1? This one is greater than minus 1. This is less than minus 1. On a number line if you will check minus 5 over 3 it would be less than minus 1 left hand side of minus 1. So the ultimate solution of this radical challenge it is minus 2 over 3. Let's verify. I will write verification and I will consider x value equal to minus 2 over 3. Now let's put in the LHS first. So let me write here LHS then we will calculate RHS value. Okay 6x. So I will write 6 times x minus 2 by 3 plus 7. So it would be minus 4 plus 7. So our LHS is coming out 3 plus 3. Now come to RHS. Okay I will write a square root of 6 over x plus 1. So minus 2 by 3 plus 1. It would be 1 by 3. Okay. Second bracket. 3x plus 4. So 3x is equal to minus 2. So minus 2 plus 4 plus 2. Now I can cancel 2 and 6 by writing over there 3. So this will flip. I will write square root 9 
answer will be 3. RHS is 3, LHS is 3, that means this solution is true and verified. I hope friends you like this video, it would be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.